Hey everybody, Ugly America. We're gonna pave this parking lot uh, all the way across, get rid of these steps. We're gonna make it a drive uh, along the side here, the whole uh, width of our property. And uh, it's supposed to be done by the uh, road crew. They dropped off some dirt over on the other side. They've been planting, they got piles, and there's weeds all grown in it. It's been here so long, but they got all these piles. They're supposed to be doing this, but it's been two and a half years. We've been waiting for them to extend the road because they're gonna put a uh, pull-off lane on each side of this road. And then we could use it for parking, but you never know how long it's gonna take. So we're gonna build it ourselves. So uh, we're gonna need a space for to, to, uh, to park. So anyway, just gonna have the stuff. Uh, Tata went and ordered the supplies today, materials, and they're gonna deliver it. This is what they do. They deliver it from the, you go order it from the hardware store, then they deliver it. So, Tatai, hey, honey, come here for a second. All right, so we're going to make the wall. We're going to try and square it up, get all the way to our, our chain link fence right here, come straight off this wall. Down here. So, we're going to come straight right here, Tatai? Straight? Straight. All the way to where? To here? Yeah, here. or here? <laughs> is this our tree or their tree? Their tree. Alright, so this is all we can go right to here? Right. Alright, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to have to go the other way around. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be enough room, we don't know. Oh, the path is big enough, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering if we're going to be able to fit the car in here. All right, we're heading to town. Really? Huh? Where are you coming from? Where did you get that lollipop? No answer from the peanut gallery. We're going to rebuild those steps. We talked to them yesterday and asked them if we could extend our... Uh, uh, parking area a little bit and we'll build them nice steps and I said yeah so that's what we've done hopefully yeah this is the next barunga over where they finished the road work and you can see that they have a parking area on both sides of the road and that's how ours is going to look too but it's been sitting like this one barunga over which is less than a mile for over two years They've been working on it, so we ha we have no idea how long it's going to be. Here we are at the Ford dealer. Isis negotiating like a wild woman. We were just headed home and we uh, are going to go back to the dealership because Isaac just informed me, which he had told me, but I didn't understand, that uh, this Ford dealer, and I guess it's the way it is in the Philippines, which I didn't know because uh, they don't work on commission. They get a salary and whether they sell the car or not, they're going to get paid. All right, so we're going to head back to the Ford dealership. Well, Isa offered the guy uh, a tip if he could help get the, the, 
price down to 1 million pesos, which is $20,000, but they still want 22,000. So anyway, we're leaving, we're going to get something to eat, and then head home, see how the uh, parking space is going. Ow, hot. Crispy King, not cream. Crispy King fried chicken. 25 pesos, which is 50 cents for a breast, piece of fried uh, breast. Awesome. Love it. Anyway, the guy didn't take her offer on the on the tip. He said he couldn't do that, so uh, he doesn't. He just doesn't care. He just doesn't care about selling the car. He really doesn't. He's making his salary and he's happy. Hey, ladies. Say hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> All right. So this is the end of the first day of work. So here's the deal in the Philippines. You can't even actually test drive the car you're actually buying uh, until you pay for it. And I said, well, what if we drive it and there's something broken or whatever? It's under warranty, so they'll fix it. But they make you test drive this car over here. So they put all the miles on these cars and then you have to buy this car. So you never actually get to drive the car you're buying before you actually buy it. And that's that's the deal. It's just weird to me. Anyway, that's what we're looking at buying. This, uh, it's an EcoSport uh, Ford. So, and they got a good service center, it looks like. So we're pretty excited about it. Yeah, so we're sitting out here in front of Ford getting ready to go transfer the money from our bank account to the dealership's account. We have no paperwork, no agreement, no nothing so i told isa said you know, we at least have to have some kind of some kind of confirmation that we bought this car so i mean oh well that's ah, philippines all right we got a sales receipt so we're good to go we're gonna go to the bank and then what do we gotta do we go to the bank and then they're gonna clean the car do a cleaning and 
inspection and then uh, come back later this afternoon and pick it up? Yes. Oh, okay. No, they can't do it from there. So uh, here we are heading back to the uh, car dealership. We just got done with PNB Bank. They wouldn't transfer the money because they have a 50,000 peso limit per day. Anyway, so we're going back to the car dealership because I think we should just get the cash out of it. They said they're willing to give us the cash, which is crazy, but they weren't willing to transfer it, but they'll give us the cash. So they probably change their mind when we get back to the bank. We're going to go to the dealership, see if we can pay in cash, get this car deal done and get it home because it's just, it, the requirements to take your own money out of the bank here are just ridiculous. All right, we're here, heading back to town. Gonna go pick up the new car. Yeah, I'm so excited. All right. Very excited, huh? Uh-huh. Very excited. Oh, yeah? Is she gonna explain everything? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, starting to get dark. I, I, Wait for Isa. No, no, it's uh, I can't remember the name now. Eco Sport or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the dogs won't get out of the way. <laughs> ah, now I know why why you uh, did some extension for the parking. I don't think it's going to fit. <laughs> yeah, we tried. Oh, thank you, Pa. 